Hey everyone, welcome back to Kowali Zoo. And uh, we are, what is this? What, what What is this curtain here? Oh, first I should say, we only have one person today, but it's gonna be awesome anyway. <laughs> so say hi, Rudy. Hello, good day, everyone. Yeah, Silv forgot his audio cable. <laughs> While he's skiing, and, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the lady's uh, computer just uh, blew up. Ish. Oh, God, yeah. She, I, I feel so sorry for her. I, I just came literally here like after an hour of a call with her. And, oh, God. Yeah, I mean, ridiculous. at least no one is sick this week. <laughs> it's, it's only... That's true. Everybody, Everybody's good and on their feet. They just... <laughs> nobody can play. <laughs> yeah, well, except, except that one peep in your park. He's definitely not on his feet. Yeah, exactly. Look at him. It looks like he's being carried off. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, here's what I did in Kuali Zoo this time. Um, once again, we were going to do a tour uh, because I hate time lapse. <laughs> if you guys don't know that already. Um, I wanted to get to the Sumatran Island. I think that's a really cool area um, that just needs a little bit of love. But you can see already that some of the, some of this area uh, got cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, so we've got a nice big wide avenue type path mm -hmm. that now stretches all the way over and I'm being careful not to show anything <laughs> over here. And there's also something else that's really cool and new is uh, is this uh, Skytrack system. Oh god, I love it. It gives me initially the people mover feelings. <laughs> it does. Yeah. So, uh, I, I do remember why it has two tracks though. Um, you want to tell the story? Because we had a long discussion in, in the Discord why there are two tracks. Yeah. I'll, uh, here. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to get it out of the way right now. There are some things about this game that are a bit frustrating. And because they weren't fully tested out, this transport system it especially does not transport a whole lot of people. Um, I think it only allows six people per and you can only have 20 cars and you cannot have trains. So you can have a max of, what is that, 120 people? Oh. For the entire zoo of 2,000 people. So, what I came up with is a dual track system that uh, goes one way, it goes eastbound, it goes westbound. And then um, to get the stations to not be super, super, again, I'm trying not to show anything. <laughs> I'm doing the same to, to make it even more immersive for me, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is the station system that I came up with, which is a dual oh. um, a stacked system. And then what happens is the track actually expands out. And so it, oh, don't look at that. So it comes, uh, one comes up and goes out and then one uh, starts the other way. Oh, and, and so it does a little switcheroo. I like that a lot. They stack right on top of each other. Oh. And what that has allowed us to have is a really cool three station uh, transport, which I'm going mm -hmm. to try and <laughs> give the, there you go. So you can see. Um, so it connects over by the micro house and the mm -hmm. Flamingo Lagoon and It's going to connect over by the entry. And it's going to be mm -hmm. another area and they do they look really ugly right now I know that they're they're going to blend into their environment, but this is where I was having other issues is <laughs> The game was crashing. I don't know maybe four or five times last night because I was trying to do this path system right here It's this 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 jungle of of paths is what caused uh, okay, so, me so, so many. The the one thing you didn't tell us. Oh no. Okay. Sorry. I, I just thought you were using. Oh no. You were. Obviously you were. So <laughs> I was <laughs> just saying like uh, yeah. Obviously you were using again the two or three meter path for where it's mm -hmm. not meant to be, but apparently you did actually in the back. It's three meter path, isn't it? Yep. Three oh, yeah, meter okay. path on the back because that's <laughs> the one that you can actually use, and then two meters for the queue. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Uh, because I, I'm I'm not going to be constrained by the game. <laughs> if, yeah. if it crashes every time, I'm still going to have my three meter pass. <laughs> it's almost like a challenge. You, you don't just tell me what to do game, so I do it. <laughs> <laughs> so this area hasn't changed much either. This is the, the Grand Canal, which now has the, the pass broken because of the water. Uh -huh. um, this is all going to change. Um, I have a really cool idea to, to make this work because now we have a big old river which I want to I want to make that the the focal point and then this canal is going to go away and it's become something else mm -hmm. so we're we're getting to a point where it's it's kind of nice because the park or the zoo is, is starting to come um we filled out so much of it that it, it feels like I feel guilty when you say that okay never mind 
<laughs> well, yeah, let's let's just take a look at Rudy's contributions here. <laughs> let's just go up into the air real quick. Don't do it. Now I feel really guilty. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. <laughs> so everything that you see in the screen right now is, uh, is pretty much Rudy's. Well, except that people move a thing, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I jammed that in there. But that should give you an idea of, of where I want to take the Sumatran Island, which I want to push it over, mm -hmm. um, over closer to the flamingo habitat so that the people mover is not directly over the river like that. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I, I do I do what I just said, and we talked about that quite a lot in, in Discord. Like, I really want to see what you can do with it, but because at the end, I ran out of time, and I had a very... Mm -hmm very clear vision of what i don't want to have like i really thought that this left hand island like this one where actually you have this this weird overpath by um mm -hmm. from from the canal now that i really didn't like it which i already told mm -hmm. and yeah but if you're opening it up uh it, it can be really cool and i love to have this people mover by because they are also acting as a viewpoint for the guests to see the animals so it actually yeah. contributes to the to the rating so you can actually go because my my main idea with uh, especially the tiger habitat was to give it a bit more privacy than you usually mm -hmm. would like there are not too many view viewing galleries you know which i wanted mm -hmm. to have i wanted to keep it as as natural as possible and so with these tracks you can still have enough privacy but still make the people see more of the overall habitat which yeah, I think I that's going to work really out cool really thing, nicely. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, no, and it, it, I love it. It really does. Um, it shows off like a really cool shot of the elephants and, it, and you can get those really cool shots of the tigers too. Because mm -hmm. yeah, they are fairly um, secluded in this area. Yeah. Oh man. I just I just figured that this one view now, if you look from from the sky track over to my, my weird houses in the middle of this uh, Sumatran island and then you uh -huh. see Sylph's house in the background that gives you a really cool depth of the f how the park already emerged and like different focal points I like that a lot I, I really love the way that Sylph's entrance still shows up in certain yeah. vistas and I want to make sure that those are preserved over time um, especially as we get a little bit denser and, and deeper but it's yeah it's really awesome the way it's coming together I didn't have to add rubbish this time. The peeps have taken <laughs> care of that. Oh, well, maybe because I forgot about the bins. But yeah, the game is very <laughs> the, the the game is very bin heavy. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yes, people do not want to hold on to their trash for very long no. before they're like, eh, screw it. Oh well, there are bins, but they're all like all completely filled up. <laughs> God. Okay. All right, let's head back over to the reptile house. Yeah. Because that is where we're going to go. Right. All right. So, so you worked on a curtain for the whole week. I love that curtain. Though. Yeah, I worked on a curtain. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should already notice something different. Is the the foliage is a little denser yeah. in here? Um, and I also repurposed Sylv's gate right here. All right, here we go. Ready to drop the curtain? Here we'll, dr we'll actually drop the curtain. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Well, I need to do two, but yeah. Well, let's do it. <laughs> here we go. Whoosh. Oh my. Okay. So that's a lot more narrow than I expected it to be, but mm -hmm. oh my. Oh, yeah. Uh, obviously, you worked again with uh, slight slopes. Yeah, sure you mm -hmm. did. Um, I really like that. And the really funny thing is I didn't realize th this at the time when I was um, taking a piece off of something else. Mm -hmm. um, but the stone is all twisted. <laughs> when you look down, it's sitting back on itself as if the the land has settled, and it's also uh, falling a little bit too. Oh, okay. Oh, and uh, you you're playing a lot with perspective here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I I, I saw that, and I'm like, that's really cool. I'm yeah. not gonna change that. I'm not gonna fix that because it does look like the stone is actually settled in that spot. Wow, but it's really hard to tell. Like I tried to move my camera now in a position to see that they're actually tilted slightly. Wow, okay, so that's a cool trick to keep in mind because that really makes, it, it, it takes this whole thing to, to feel more like going down while it's not that, it's actually not that crazy slope because I know yeah, there you, is you don't use heavy slopes, so that's why I can Not tell. typically, yeah, this is almost yeah. a weird forced perspective thing that's happening yeah. because of the stone. But yeah, you come down here and you're immediately <laughs> greeted with the Garial statue here. By the way, just taking a look at the chat, uh, there is someone um, expressing... It's it's awe <laughs> of I, I see. I'm not allowed to read that out. <laughs> Probably not word for word. No, no. <laughs> I guess. The, but yeah, it looks like it looks like the lady loves it, which is awesome. 
Yeah, so just as a little, uh, because we didn't explain, but Lady cannot watch because her computer doesn't run, but she's on Discord with her phone at the moment and following <laughs> our screen share. So That's right. So she's basically our uh, one and only live chatter of our <laughs> non-public <laughs> Twitch session. <laughs> exactly, she is. She is a, our live chatter. Um, so yeah, this area has changed quite a bit. Um, you'll notice that the reptile house, the, the building hasn't changed, si similar to what I did in the temple area. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't change the structure at all, but every, <laughs> everything else has pretty much been up for grabs. It's, I, which is right, again, I, I just love that. The only thing I'm a bit afraid is like you kill the FPS even more with all the foliage, but that's it's so worth it. It's so weird. That, and then if you look to the right, you see that awesome little park area here. I was about to say, I love that. I even see a little bit of a temple thing in the back. So, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I stole it off of uh, your temple pieces back there mm -hmm. and just uh, made them really, really simple. Uh, just kept the dome pieces and stuff like that. Yeah, that's so cool. It gives this whole area a bit of width and a bit of... Like, it, it doesn't feel off, you know? It doesn't feel to, to be just packed to the left or right of this building. It really almost feels like as if it is in the building. Oh, that's so cool. Uh-huh. The lady says, don't you dare touch my effing building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she does not know what happened. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much everything that she did and the way that she stepped the building down um, has been uh, made so that it works here. So the landscape pretty much takes over as the building steps down. So you, it pretty much disappears, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. And then, so you got the Gariel statue here. This is this is really cool. Oh, wait a second. Then, no, 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 wait. We cannot go over this fountain. What is, like, water bottle thing here? Oh, that is uh, oh, from Pontrim. This is... Amazing! I wanted to do this for Planet Coaster <laughs> ages. Then there was something with the TMTK, but holy heck, I love that. You need that uh, in our area. You need this. Oh, well, that's I what I've noticed that when trying to deal with the peeps is that they are thirsty all the time. Uh, they're mm -hmm. hungry all the time. They have to go to the bathroom all the time, and they're tired of walking. <laughs> so our, our zoo is not conducive for any of those things. That's kind of why I added the sky track. <laughs> oh, my, we yeah, needed yeah. it. Yeah. I really have the I really have the uh, idea that these are actually the people from Wally -E that came back to the planet Earth and, and just. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, so there is one more area here. If we go down this path a little bit, uh, there's one more little surprise oh, to check like out. Surprises. No, 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 no. Okay, I see it already. Holy, <laughs> oh god. Okay, isn't that, that cool? is fucking insane. <laughs> How the, how even, and how, how did you even come up with that? Well, we have the two pieces of the statue, but I didn't want it to be a, a single one piece. So I just kind of hid it in the foliage and it looks like the, the boa constrictor is, is kind of constricting around something and then looking up. Yeah, it's really cool. And I love this little detail. It's really something to discover, you, you know, because it, it really rewards the people that go here. Yes, yeah, I wanted this to be a place. You should always, in garden design, you always want to give people a destination to go to. So there is this little destination area here. Um, and then there are these little touches where I've got some, you know, very lush. But then what if something died? What would happen is the, the undergrowth would start growing up mm -hmm. and you'd get a little bit lusher on the bottom, but it wouldn't fill in for quite a while. And so that just kind of shows you a little bit of passage of time and, and stuff like that. Yeah, insane. Just lady just noticed also the, she saw something black or dark in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> there is something dark in the bushes, but you'll have to wait until the video to actually see it because apparently she can't see it on her phone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's funny. Uh. <laughs> Then we head back here, and then pretty much what I did here is this is a little bit of an overflow pond for the other pond. Mm -hmm. So if we're dealing with a lot of rain, then we're going to have some overflow, and that water has to make its way back to the river somehow. So this is a little retention pond. It's pretty much all that is there. But it's a way more beautiful retention pond than we have in Germany, for example, next to the highway. <laughs> so I'm very happy it is that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go into the building for, okay. for Pete's okay. sake. Okay. All right, so this originally had uh, just pretty much no uh, doors or anything like that, no walls on the inside. So here we go. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. 
So very much, um, very much inspired by some of the Dutch uh, New Indies architecture that I saw um, when I was looking at, I think it was a museum in Jakarta, um, especially this uh, this beamed ceiling here. And the room is supposed to feel like that kind of like, oh, you're just kind of running into it. Mm. It, because it feels become... very welcoming. Like, so, like, it's really warm. It's almost like, um, how, how, how do you call it even? Like, it, it's something where you would go for, like, a uh, government style a mm -hmm. bit. You know, some, some greeting, some government piece people. Oh, yeah, it almost cool. looks yeah. like a, a, a official foyer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. And so you have this little spot here for education um, that shows all the animals in the reptile house um, that are not also part of the exhibit. Um, and then some additional uh, sign boards. And then you have these really cool things that I've placed all around. And what these are supposed to be are like uh, glass cases where you can see like the exoskeleton of the, or the, the shedded skin of a snake or something like that. Uh -huh, or cool. Almost like they have fossils or... on display. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Of course, I was limited with the amount of pieces that we have, but you know, you just kind of put a bunch of stuff in there and it eventually looks like something. <laughs> You yeah, can see there's does, reason I'm, there. I'm just trying to figure out which kind of glass piece you used here. This is the um, this is the the modular glass piece that you would use to make like a modular dome or something like that. Um, just just upside down so that it's ah, facing up. okay, it's up. a long one. Ah, okay, because I wasn't figuring which one has like a, an almost flat glass, but ah, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. okay, got it. Cool. Super cool. Okay, and then in here you got plenty of places to sit, sit because these peeps really love to sit. And then some art on the wall because I hope, you know, if we end up getting a DLC with a little bit more scenery pieces, we can deck out these places a little bit. Yeah. But then here we come into the main hall. Wow. Oh, my. I don't know what it is about you, but you have a certain great feel about the floor. I was so mm -hmm. happy. I think is that the same floor piece you used in in the uh, in my house but just in another color is that absolutely yeah ah, it's in okay. that terracotta exactly it, it, it almost seems like now terracotta while in mine it has like the metal-ish style to it while here it's, mm -hmm. it's really like the kind of terracotta tile it's so versatile i love it oh my <laughs> the, and all the, f the lady says oh my god you have wa people walking in there yes that is another thing that i fixed is oh I got yeah people to you come to into us. this area you have to tell us how you did that because yeah we talked also a lot about that <laughs> yeah, the people are, um, they're a little difficult. If you don't give them what they want, uh, they pretty much go to one um, location, like one exhibit, and then they'll just leave the zoo, which is a little frustrating. So, I just want to also uh, want to put one thing into perspective now. People under my video always talk like, how do you get so much work done? People seem to be misled by the size of the areas I tackle. It does not mean it's more work than what you did. Holy crap <laughs> let alone this fucking area in here okay that's not, like it is like all the details all the work and i know how hard it is to get all the depth in because you're just using different angles different kind of depth and like how i'm just also like wondering about the the window frames and window mm -hmm. oh god that looks looking so good like how you manage to have this little bit of opening still mm -hmm. seems to be like also the difference in color, like the, the darker brown mixed with the red and then, ah. Oh, it my, really comes down insane. to just researching, looking at a photo and getting the idea of what that is. So in, in this case, those buildings were all about these really tight beams. Um, I saw that they had a lot of fans, probably because there's no such thing as central AC mm -hmm. in Jakarta. <laughs> Um, so a lot of these places, they should feel, it should feel very humid, um, and a little bit like it's, it's a bit formal, but then also has that tropical vibe too. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Exactly. It has so, this tropical to it. Yeah. So each one of these wings, um, has the exhibit animals in there. Mm -hmm. So this is probably my favorite wing here. Oh, wow. Oh, this chandelier is like, oh my God, this is insane. What animal is there on the courtyard? <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> I have a certain idea what there is, but yeah, it's so funny <laughs> to just uh, just just read the chat. It's really almost like live chat. We could actually think of sometimes do that, like have certain people in a live chat. That would be fun. Oh, but yeah, God. this is this is the the one of the wings here, and so you've got some uh, traditional tapestries on the wall, and then you've got your uh, exhibit animals and. Pretty much very basic. I kept the same kind of treatment that uh, Delady did. I just changed the the color of the walls. Mm -hmm. 
um, but it was all it was all good to go and just adding the adding the natural light was so important and that was that was a big challenge I will I will admit um, because the way that she built it is was pretty much like solid concrete walls <laughs> so to have to like break through to get to the natural light was uh, was a little difficult. Oh, I see which time of day you used. Why? Ha 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 ha. Gotcha, Mike. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is like Jesus insane. F, is this my building? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then to get them to not hit the area, there's some uh, trash cans in here. Yeah, still I was, I was see about if to we're ask, get but I, I see them, yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I love that you even used them as styling element. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> exactly. You got to make do with what you got. <laughs> Uh, again. And then the set, the other wing is over this way, and it pretty much, I think, is the same. Um, yeah, yeah. You also did hide a staff building, or even two in here, right? I see you. I hid, yeah, I hid yeah. one staff building, yeah. yeah. So that they're a little bit closer, like the, mm -hmm. the zookeeper area is a little bit closer. Oh, yeah, I remember they, were, they needed to walk all the way back behind that building, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, that's really cool. Like, honestly, this is one of the things I really, really love to, to, to have there. We have to embed that because actually, even though we play in Sandbox, we still have to keep an eye on that because if people would at some point download this one, um, mm -hmm. if we don't look into that, it'll break everything because the game will have such a hard time to calculate everything and then all the keepers run miles and well, oh, well they will still do, but <laughs> out of different reasons, though. But yeah. I love that we keep an eye on that too because it's super important in that game and also yeah there's there's just something about making sure that the zoo is actually working so that when mm -hmm. somebody opens it it isn't just like flashing red like everything is going wrong that kind of takes it out even on a really good sandbox build if it's not functioning yeah and for me also it has a little bit of um also about the immersion and the i, I don't know it's, it's something i have when i go to zoos or theme parks uh, you have to have these areas because it kind of is part of the magic because that's mm -hmm. the, the, the area you're not allowed to go into you know mm -hmm. and, and so only the, the special people working there can do so i think it's part of the magic and i i really like to see that yeah awesome okay so let's go into this little area here this is supposed to be like the special like little reptiles or something like that like nocturnals okay. or something oh oh uh -huh. So the ceiling is dropped down, so you get a little bit more claustrophobic mm -hmm. in here. It should be a little quieter. Um, and I also blacked out the walls on the inside so that they don't appear quite as harsh. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this would be a, an area that's a little bit more quiet. Okay, I, I just okay, I just put it in nighttime, and that looks just fantastic. <laughs> okay, that is just insane. And so then we have to go to, let's see, which we should go to, the Gariel or the Crocodile uh, Habitat? Uh, let's go Gariel first. It's left, right? Okay, I think Gariel's left. And before we um, exit this little area, I have to show you this because this is really cool. So what these are supposed to be, these are supposed to be automatic sliding doors. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because this is a very humid area. And I wanted to make sure that the wood in the traditional area was not going to be. Um, oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Okay. Effective so it's supposed to have hand. these. It's supposed to have these closed, but I left it kind of open. It's almost like an so airlock, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. So, so cool. Let's open those back up. But yeah, it's got the tracks and everything, so it looks like a, a, a true. Um, <laughs> you even, you even, you even put them in different, like different ways of how they moved into the wall and not to d just uh -huh. give it a bit of a. Uh, and, these are the small details I just love. <laughs> oh, yeah, so good. Okay. So All right, so let's step in here. And so this is a big, big change. Um, okay. <laughs> because the you originally... First of all, you need to kill Lady. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll kill her later. What the hell? No, what the... Oh, my God, Mike. What did you just do to the roofing, to the these sails, like sun sail kind of? Oh, these sales, yeah. These so that sales. was a big, yeah. that was okay. a big what? thing when I was um, talking with, um, I don't know if it was silver or something like that, but when we're talking about a tropical environment, the big thing is going to be shade, and so for this area, even though we have vents now, I still wanted to introduce some louv louvered shades, mm -hmm. um, so that the uh, animals don't overheat and the water doesn't get all nasty and algae. -y. I can already feel the pain working with those stairs here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the stairs are a little a little frustrating. Oh. But here was the, the big change is because while... Here, I'm actually going to go up through the roof for a second. Okay. If I look at the structure of the building, 
the this should be original to the the building and mm -hmm. so what we originally had was the uh wood paneling and stuff like that as if it looked like an entire annex mm -hmm. but the building itself should still be part of the original structure and so to make it retrofit um, I wanted to show that the area was like dug out, and so mm -hmm. you still see the the pylons and everything. Yeah, um, and you still have the posts, and you still have the really cool roof, the inset roofs. Ah, okay. That's. I was wondering what these red things were for, but now mm -hmm. I do. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. All all decorative in here because this would have originally been just a, another wing of the the house. Yeah, insane. I'm just really speechless at this point. Also, how you managed <laughs> to get the foliage in here to make it look like a lot more, a lot more like really amphibian house-ish or like reptile mm -hmm. house-ish to really get the feel in. And it almost doesn't feel like you, you do have this separation in here because it almost feels like organically taking in. And this balcony thing over here for me is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. because the, the two, the two uh, levels. Exactly, because there's this the one thing I learned that it, from from a zoo doku I just watched before Planet Zoo even came out, that mm -hmm. a lot of zoos have this technique to bring the path to eye level of the animals in a certain way that you have a gap in between, uh, which is not noticeable in that way. So you, mm -hmm. you work a lot, especially with like lions and stuff. You have this this very subtle um, whether it's be a ditch or whatever in front of it, but then you have an overhanging area balcony like almost so that you bring the people to the same level as the animals are but there is like a natural mm -hmm. border in between and it's quite often done to kind of you know make this perspective way more interesting to look at but at the same time you have these tunnels and underwater viewing um, mm -hmm. that you can still focus on what you want to have because you do focus on the underwater w once you go down here in this lower area you're mm -hmm. not focusing on the animals that are sitting at the beach but while you're on the balcony you're totally focusing on the animals on the outside so I exactly. love that because that's like real, like how real zoos do treat these things. And oh my, oh god, that's just child just floating above me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the gharial side, um, and then you've got these, you know, some some benches and stuff like that. I don't know how realistic it would be, but this is a quality zoo. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a high end. Of course, we're gonna have some silk in there. I, I love your little bit of joy in your voice that you don't have to go. <laughs> that route <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, i wanted it's like the I, mike wanted to have benches so mike gets benches <laughs> mike gets benches yes and um, even though you know the wood would definitely be compromised in here you could still seal it or something yeah. like that because there this would be a very humid environment um yeah the house is just it's going to be humid in certain places Oh, that's true. All right, so we're not going to go out the backside because that is still under construction. Um, I didn't finish everything I wanted to do in the reptile house, but... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> to be fair, I didn't think that I was going to start with the sky track yesterday either. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So, walk. I was about to say, because you were already also talking about the Sumatran area, and I was like, how is he even... Like, if he continues that level of detail... How? <laughs> no sleep, I, no I, food. <laughs> yeah, I realize that I probably have to cut back on my yeah. uh, ambitions a little bit each week. Jeez, Otherwise, I'm going to kill myself. And then here's the saltwater side, which I, I, I love this environment more because it has the beach and it also has the water. Mm -hmm. And it just it looks really cool. Oh, oh they're, yeah. actually, they're actually down there eating the pumpkin. Hmm. So yeah, you can get really close to the animals without actually being anywhere... My Unsafe. Oh, they're all in water. Okay. I was just wondering where mine were. I'm just all swimming. <laughs> Love it. That is so immersive. I so yeah, the two sides are the same because the wings would have probably been the same. Um, so they're, they're yeah, pretty yeah. much mirrors of each other. Yeah, I think also that would be a totally logic architectural decision you would make. Kind of share also materials and stuff. That would make sense. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that is the the two big exhibits, and then we've got the central courtyard. So let's take a okay. look at that. Okay, that's gonna be exciting. So again, we have to go out the other way because I don't have it connected up yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think Lady just shut down because she's just still loving it. I can only see hearts in the chat, and <laughs> she's like, All right, okay, oh, she's see. typing, she's typing, she's typing. Oh, she's <laughs> typing. All right, okay, I'll wait. Well, she's still wait loving at the door. it. <laughs> oh, no, okay. It's almost like she hurt me. Now it's a smiley face with hearts in the eyes, not a heart on its own. <laughs> okay, very valuable information here. <laughs> okay, here we go. So outside into the courtyard. Whoosh. Wow. 
Oh, I've got dung. There's just like dung right in front of me on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you'll notice that the uh, animals are part of the courtyard now. Oh. What is happening that? here? Why is there a bunch of hay? That's weird. But, ah. Hmm. Hello, anyway. you lovely tortoise. So yeah, oh. the tortoise, the Alda Aldabra, Al Albadra. Whatever they are. Um, the tortoises uh, are now part of the central courtyard and they can't escape and they have basically everything that they need. They're they're not super happy with their environment in terms of plants, but Oh you know. well, which animal is, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm actually thinking about getting that mod that uh, that uh, just eliminates the plant requirement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, oh what the hell? Okay, so one so they can still swim the tortoise, it seems, because one of <laughs> Did they one fall of, into the yeah, water? Exactly. There we go. Yeah, and they don't. Again. But they, they don't always take the most logical path. This one is currently climbing right along the edge. Okay. Um, if they fell in, they probably wouldn't be able to get out, which is a problem. So I might have to build a ramp or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you see, Lady can even tell without even commentary. She just told us what's wrong with the hay. Oh. We're missing out on a feeder. <laughs> I didn't have enough feeders. All right, that's good. Uh, and then um, pretty much what I did in here is made it a little bit more lush and tropical. Um, added some vines up every one of the insets. Mm -hmm. Added hanging baskets. Added uh, containers. Because really when you look at these old, um, not necessarily old style, but tropical formal gardens, they are packed to the gills with stuff. Mm. Wow. And so, yeah. And then back here, I actually eliminated the entire back wing. Um, because I wanted to put the, the turtles in the courtyard, or the mm -hmm. tortoises. And so in here, I've got another uh, another thing, <laughs> just to not show you what's what's behind there. Okay. But uh, if we look, let's just look across. So I've got these ripped up right now, but they are eventually going to be... One's going to be the Crocodile Cafe, which is over here. Mm -hmm. um, and then one, I haven't quite decided what it's going to be yet, but it's going to... It's going to incorporate the, the backside of here. Um, just so that the, the building is maintained. Um, yeah, and then yeah. here, I really liked this, by breaking out and keeping just the wall um, and not having the, the actual building behind it, you've got this really cool, um, oversized, almost um, like ancient kind of setting here for these really dripping IVs and stuff like that. Yeah. I, uh, God, to see it all in context now is so awesome. I told. I think it totally makes sense that way, and I, I also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said, "You touch my building, you're going to die." <laughs> well, in fact, you just touched it once because it basically ripped it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I just felt like we, if we could get the turtles and the or the tortoises in the courtyard, that we didn't necessarily need the other exhibit, and so I'm just going to make that a an area for the guests, um, and because it's connected to one of the Skytrack stations. Mm -hmm. Um, that's going to be a nice little hub for people to eat and to go to the bathroom and to just hang out. So this will be all garden area in the back, uh, but it's going to be focused on kind of seating areas and stuff like that. And to be fair, it, we also, like we have to say to ourselves, we also didn't think too much of restaurants and stuff. I mean, we talked mm -hmm. a lot about that, but in the context of our zoo, we are really missing out on them. So I think it would make total sense in... Also, in the context of how many animals are in this whole area, so a lot of people would be uh, going here, it totally would make sense to, to have that, you know, have, have a restaurant mm -hmm. in, our, in that area that people can be in. And, and just also theme-wise, it makes total sense to me. Uh, so I cannot wait to see what, what that is going to look like. And, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be either. Um, what I what I think is going to happen is you're going to come out of one of the uh, two sides, either the gharial or the crocodile side, and you're going to have this. Um, you're going to have this kind of open area, and then you'll have uh, a, another glass kind of wall to get into the cafe, and that's actually going to mm -hmm. break out a little bit, so that it, I'm not forced into this tiny little box to make a uh, an eating area. It's actually going to come way out this way as well. Yeah. Oh god, I just yeah. And it, I think that'll work pretty well. Um, and then this area is just going to be more gardening and stuff like that. This will be the north side of the garden. Um, the lady says, I'm going to quit YouTube now. No PC anyways. And you touch my building. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, is, that is what I got done. Um, it's not as much as I wanted to. But <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
but uh, you know, that's that's kind of how it goes, isn't it? So people see that what happens if, if Mike says it's not as much as he wanted to. So <laughs> I mean, maybe we're just happy that you're not <laughs> you didn't do as much as you wanted. <laughs> not ripping up other sides. <laughs> I, I'm just happy you didn't touch my stuff this time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. No, honestly, we'll, we'll this get is there. Insane work. I mean. I think probably my favorite is honestly that area before you go into the wings. Mm -hmm. This, like, where yeah. you also just like have the nocturnal area. Because honestly, I wanted to do something like that. Like Ooh. since the very beginning, I st even started in my franchise before I decided to get polar bears and got bankrupt. So, <laughs> <laughs> never happened. <laughs> uh, but it's so cool because the. The integration is uh, it totally makes sense. You know, you come into this area, and I was wondering why you have these kind of added wings here, but it makes total sense now to have this little area in the middle for the nocturnal an animals. And mm -hmm. yeah, just the way how you incorporated that into this, and m you basically gave it a center point, you know, w which mm -hmm. is not the, the entrance of the building, but it is a actually the center of the building. I love it's it. the area that you'd cross the most yeah. um, when you're when you're going through a building like this because you you've got the two wings you've got the courtyard and you've got you know this would be an area that gets a lot of traffic yeah I know and must treat say. it a, treat it a lot like a museum so that it it, it is nice and open um, but you yeah. can still it's still kind of comfortable yeah I, I was exactly about to say so it really gives me also museum vibes and honestly this kind of style for me is almost like unseen in Planet so, uh, Zoo so far. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It gives me even like a little bit of, uh, just don't hate me, but a, a little bit of Jurassic Park original vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Just a very little bit, you know? Yeah, this this room, especially this wing, this little wing here, this gives me like Indiana Jones vibes for yeah, some exactly. reason. Yeah, exactly. Indiana Jones, just like, it kind of all hits the same curve, mm -hmm. if you will. It's like, oh. And then, if you want to know how you actually got the tortoises to work, this there's a there's a door, a habitat door that's yeah, hidden. Right I was here. about to say, where is it, and why did we go to the right hand side? <laughs> yeah, because uh, I couldn't break through the walls because they're made of like twenty foot concrete. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go through the openings that were already there. And then to get them to stay put, um, this is elephant grass uh, upside down. Ah, there we go. This is your little trick you were talking about. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Uh huh. But yeah, since the animals in here, it's a little, it's a little more weedy in this area because mm -hmm. you know you don't want to necessarily take away all their stuff. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to work in this area too much. But yeah, <laughs> this is the wow. tortoise courtyard. This is so good. Like I didn't know that with the like you talked about the elephant grass, but it, that it's enough already to have it so subtle. It's super cool. Does it also work the same way for taller animals too? No, they can potentially jump over. They can right? climb over it and oh, they'll okay. just stand on it like it's a <laughs> like it's a, a a platform or something. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember flamingos doing that. Yeah. Oh god, it's so cool. And then in here, when you walk out, you've got two areas. So I'm starting to divert the paths a bit. So you've got that area to go back up to main path. But then you also have the side path that is mm -hmm. going to be um, that circus or circus. <laughs> Circle road mm -hmm. um, that allows uh, the zoo, you know, to get vehicles through here, but people yeah. can actually walk on it too. So there are we're getting into diverging paths, which is helping the traffic flow a bit. Yep, totally. If we take a look at the the whole overview here, and then I've got my greenhouses here. So I've I've called out this area as backstage because um, this is going to be uh, greenhouses and also trees and stuff like that. Um, and other oh, yeah. kind of maintenance stuff so maybe like resource sheds or something like that i love that idea to have it over here because honestly yes you you would have so much to grow in there also to make sure that this whole reptile house works <laughs> mm -hmm. so and and oh god it's so good i love if we if we zoom out it's so lush the whole area already ah <laughs> oh, that is so good and that's the, the nice thing about Planet Zoo, even though it's, you know, starting to crash on me every so often, especially when I work on a path. Um, there's a lot of trees and shrubs and flowers in here, and it's really not, it's not affecting it too bad. That's true. I mean, if we would have done this the same way you did, especially around here, the, the reptile <laughs> house in Planko, <laughs> the yeah. game would be at like two FPS at this point. <laughs> it would not be great. No, it would not be great. Wow. Uh, that's funny. But yeah, um, so here, what are your, I mean, I don't know if you're necessarily getting the file next, but what's your next idea? 
Uh, so yeah, we, we actually we talked briefly about that. So mm -hmm. I don't want to go too much into it, but for one thing, I can already tell I'm not going to build a big area. <laughs> so, okay. So I wanted to try to focus to get into something way smaller. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something that is a bit more indoor walkthrough area, a bit more story mode-ish. Um, and also- story, I like that, story mode-ish. Story mode-ish, yeah. It's, it's almost <laughs> like, um, I, I did a lot of things with animals in a house, but till this point in time, it was all like, go, go there, have the gallery go out, you know? But this time mm -hmm. I want to, uh, you know, follow a path through there, which almost gives you a little story and make sure that you have still some privacy for the animals that potentially would live in there. Who knows if there's Oh, that'd be animals. cool. And uh, yeah, we'll incorporate that also with an indoor and outdoor area for some potential animals. So yeah, I have a very specific idea already. And um, there's a bit of trial and error going on right now in, in, in another file where I just want to see how small the area can be to still mm -hmm. make sure that it works. And yeah, we talked about that briefly because you sent me some screens of the people mover thing. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess I want to open up the building a little bit to incorporate that, almost like a Disney-ish style. That's really cool. That'd be really so, awesome to, to, yeah, to almost use it as a people mover where you've got some themed areas and then it goes into like the animal areas. Also mm. to make sure that our zoo is not expanding too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can fill in the gaps a little bit before we expand yeah. out again. Because um, yeah, we, we, I mean, we do have a lot of work to do to make sure these areas are all nicely stitched together. Mm -hmm. um, as we're coming up on Sumatra Island, there is a really cool idea here that just needs a little bit more finessing. Yeah, totally. And yeah, I, mean, I, I just want to also again stress again the fact like how cool it is how to see how the co collaboration goes into uh, play now and it really works out exactly the way I was hoping for it to work because now mm -hmm. everyone's little favorite things to do come into play and it, it kind of makes the whole thing uh, so cool. Because honestly, I guess if Lady Sylvan and I would have done it, we would have not even one third of the plants in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do not, you mean? Yeah, well, you, like the thing is, I am always a little bit afraid of of putting too many plants together to make it, you know, foliage. Like, but what you do is always it looks so natural, and yet mm -hmm. I look at it and like I would have never put that many things together. But you just do it, and it looks great. And I think it is one of the most important and crucial parts about the zoo to make it look very jungleish and and mm -hmm. you know, and. Yeah, I, I think it just, just this, let alone, is already making it look gorgeous and great. And yeah, Sylv's architectural styles start mm -hmm. to pop and, and shine and be actually weenies, to, to say it again. We cannot have an episode <laughs> without it, you know. He has he has all the weenies. I mean, uh, you have one. <laughs> you have one, but it's kind of hidden by the trees now. True, yeah. He's got a giant weenie here, mm -hmm. which he's thrusted out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got his original weenie. That's true, yeah. But no. Oh I'm yeah, gonna... and then the uh, the people mover goes by the front here, so that's a little oh. nod to Disneyland as well. But I love that you just completely followed the shape of the entrance, like it. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is awesome. I dig it. I, I enjoy where this is going, um, and Same, it is an definitely. ever evolving product that we've got going on here. But it's it's awesome. It really is. It's one of the coolest projects. I don't think anybody's doing anything quite like this. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just so glad we went for the theme. Uh, and to see that actually all our brainstorming pays off. <laughs> that we yeah, just didn't absolutely. go the route, the easy route to go with thatch roofs and, and do the quality style again. Which, you know, potentially would have been cool for a while. But mm -hmm. I guess there was, was a huge potential of getting boring very, very quick. Um, and so I, I just love the fact how free we are. And still mm -hmm. it really comes together nicely as one. I think people were worried about that these styles aren't meshing, and when I look overhead, it's starting to mesh, honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, they totally. are different styles because they were built at different times, but they're they're all starting to stitch together. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, and I love your influence of, of making this all look a bit more natural in terms of how the pathway also works. Like, you know, getting all these different little twists and, and circle roads and stuff in. Um, mm -hmm. I enjoy that a lot. Like I tried also to embed that a lot more into my projects and I have to say it, it really helps not only for making actually people <laughs> enjoy the, the walks a bit better because it's not <laughs> <Exactly>. always <laughs> not always the, the one main street. But yeah, just also it, it just contributes to the organic feel of the whole thing. And then for, for this little area here, it, 
Did you? Okay. <laughs> did you have to build a terrain bridge and then cover it? Because uh, I thought there terrain, were certain it's things. It's rocks. Oh, that's um, rocks. Because for some odd reasons, um, the tiger didn't want to go over the planks only. So, but okay. it worked when I were putting in the rocks. And uh, yeah, I just tried to cover them in as, as much as possible. And I just left it a bit open like that. So it could almost be a bit of dirt that shines through. Oh, um, okay. But yeah, um, for whatever reason, it didn't work out with the uh, with the normal pieces. It even didn't work out with the climbing pieces for whatever reason. So that I used bizarre. the rocks. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, and also Wonder it is if you if you are um, just ripping it apart or whatever. Um, yeah, this is the minimum width. <laughs> oh my god. It is <laughs> It's just got to crap. <laughs> and like everyone quit. Everyone was like, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that shit anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yeah, we got some, we got some structural issues here. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that's funny. Now these buildings are beautiful and they are definitely going to be the centerpiece of a, of a, of an island. Cause I like the idea still of having the animals around and you only get to access a certain amount. You don't mm -hmm. actually get to get into the area. Um, I think that's really cool. But you can see we're getting there. Look at that. Yeah. I was just like thinking of all your ideas. Uh, if you need another two, three episodes potentially for Sumatra <laughs> Island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have, once I once I start breaking things down, it, it comes into view like how much time I actually need. But yeah, yeah this all of these ideas take a lot of time to do. Yeah, I guess. And maybe that's also a reason why you don't do time lapse. Because how you want to fit all these hours in? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look so disjointed and, and awful because every you know everything that I'm working on maybe I'm working on a room and then I'm like eh, I'm kind of done with that for now and then I'll go to something else that doesn't yeah. really work well for time lapse oh yeah remember I told you the story that how I needed to set up my first time lapse with the uh, with the temple I completely mm -hmm. like the order of the time lapse was not the order I built so <laughs> I kind of make, made it up so it's a bit more easy to follow for you guys so yeah okay. yes I, I remember the, the uh, titled time lapses that usually helped yeah, exactly. So you can actually see what you're working on and when. <laughs> All right, man. Um, so next episode is... Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, can Sil work on it? I don't know when he's back, actually, from skiing. So maybe it's my time again. I don't know. It okay. would be Sil for me, for sure. Because Lady, well... <laughs> even She's going to be out for a while. Yeah. So okay. you're probably going to get it next. Um, yeah. So the next video is going to be on your channel. Mm-hmm. And we, you're going to work on your lemur walkthrough habitat, which you is going to be awesome. You said that name. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's going to be a lemur. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely working on that one. Cool. Well, Can yeah, work. there's only so many animals that you can actually do a yeah, walkthrough know, habitat with. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> don't know, know if it's a peacock the, you exhibit. Don't know if <laughs> yeah, because it does work on YouTube pretty well. You know, peacock is the most searched <laughs> item on Planet Zoo. I tell you. <laughs> the, the peacock uh, is? Yeah, I guess so. There's cock in it, so it must be. Oh, God. Today. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> you're very welcome to Lady. She says, thanks, Mike. Love what you did. Um, I'm very happy with it. There's still a few things left to do, but I hope that I uh, transformed the interior so that it, it feels like the exterior, which was really cool and formal and uh, like it's a historic building or something like that. Yeah, I can I can only say uh, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I guess Lady is too, but I'm blown away. I just... Love it. Wonderful. All right. Uh, see you guys next time. It's going to be on Rudy's channel. And uh, hope you have a great weekend. See you later, guys. Bye.